Hi, I'm Jason with Engineering Explained, and today we're going to be checking out the ICE powertrain on the Ziad RC. One of the unique things about this vehicle is it actually has two power plants on board that it can switch between. It can run off of two electric motors, or it can run off of a 1.5 liter, three-cylinder gasoline engine. This is where it gets the name Zero Emission On Demand, when you can switch to the electric system and ride purely on electric power. This engine is located behind the battery in this area right here. Now Nismo believes that with 12 laps at Le Mans, this 1.5 liter will be able to generate enough power along with the regenerative braking to power the Zayod for one full electric lap. So behind us we've got the engine running here. This is the engine for the Zayod RC. This is a 1.5 liter three-cylinder engine. It's an inline engine with four valves per cylinder. It's got dual overhead cams. It's running uh, with a turbocharger, the turbocharger producing two bar absolute pressure. And this is a ceramic ball bearing turbo, capable of running about 90 to 130,000 RPM. This engine will be creating up to 400 horsepower uh, at about 7,200 RPM. So let's take a look at how the ICE components of the Zayod RC work together. So here we've got our basic layout. We've got a 1.5 liter uh, transverse inline three cylinder, uh, and that's gonna be connected to this gearbox, which I've got below the turbocharger. So we've got a clutch right here, which I've drawn in purple, which is connecting the engine to the gearbox, uh, which is then sending the power out to the rear wheels. So you've got your air intake here, which is gonna be pulling in your air through the inlet of the turbine. That's gonna feed to the air to liquid intercooler, then send that air once it's cooled down and about two bar absolute pressure into the engine, then out the engine through the exhaust manifold into the exhaust portion of the turbine, and then out the rear of the vehicle. So this engine actually doesn't have a starter motor. Instead, it uses the onboard electric motors uh, to start the engine. Now, they're both the engine and the electric motors are geared to the same transmission. So clutch engages, you'll hear the engine fire up, and then the car will take off. Now, the engine of the Ziad is actually a clean sheet design designed specifically for this vehicle. The only existing component on it comes from a Nissan Tita, and it's the throttle body, and even that had some weight shaved off of it. The engine is mounted directly behind the battery, and it's a non-stressed member of the chassis. Now, if you'd like to see more videos about how cars work, feel free to head over to my channel.